What up gun show viewers? Uh, today I wanted to talk about the effects of caffeine consumption. Uh, recently I've been fighting that, well to be honest I've been fighting that for many years now. Especially when I was a kid and a teenager I had a lot of soda. Uh, since then I still fight my addiction every so often which is I figure it would be a good reason to talk about the effects and my experience through it. So I'm on overcaffeinated.org, <laughs> um, good name for a site. It pretty much talks about all the effects of caffeine and such. Um, great website, I say check it out, I'll put the link below. Um, so with this, uh, the psychological effects of caffeine, pretty much it stimulates the central nervous system by blocking, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but uh, adenosine, it's a neuro, neurotransmitter that normally causes a calming effect in the body. The resulting neural stimulation due to this blockage causes the adrenal glands to release adrenaline, the fight or flight hormone. Your heart rate increases, your pupils dilate, your muscles tighten up, and glucose is released into your bloodstream for extra energy. Viola, you now have the caffeine buzz. Uh, also, caffeine also increases uh, dopamine. Dopamine activates the pleasure in parts of your brain. Because of this, it pretty much contributes to addiction to caffeine. Um, also, uh, caffeine makes you feel alert, pumps adrenaline to give you energy, and changes dopamine production to make you feel good. Uh, pretty much what it said overall. Um, yeah, because of this, uh, let's see. Physical effects of caffeine on athletic performance. Uh, gives you energy and so forth. Uh, some people use coffee. I've used the product called Redline. Uh, many, many uh, rumors going around that that's not necessarily good for you because in one shot there's like 150 milligrams of caffeine and on top of other uh, stuff in there as well. Um, they talk about coffee, a possible pre-workout drink, which is good. Uh, there's also a possibility that, which this makes sense that I read it, caffeine and creatine supplementation. Uh, apparently that caffeine uh, can counteract the effect of creatine. Creatine, in case you don't know what it is, it pretty much it helps with stamina, it helps, especially with guys, it helps build a good pump. Uh, you can pack on some muscle within a few weeks even to it's mainly because there's it's it's water in the muscles uh, it helps nourish them better and so forth and well what caffeine does it pretty much dehydrates you taking that water out which would make sense uh, there are supplements out there that has both caffeine and creatine in them which I would think would kind of help I guess it depends on the product there are a lot better products out there I'm taking C4 which is pretty good not as much energy in there, but does help with a good pump and so forth. Uh, this is what I wanted to get to, the downside of caffeine. Um, despite the positive effects, I mean, it is good if you want to you know, get more endurance and have a little bit of energy. Um, I feel once in a while it's okay to have it, but pretty much the downside, um, Pretty much, uh, caffeine stimulates the central nervous system and can produce restlessness, headaches, and irritability. Caffeine also elevates your heart rate and blood pressure. Over long term, as your body gets used to caffeine, it requires higher amounts to get the same effects. Certainly, having your body in a state of hormonal emergency all day isn't very healthy, which kind of makes sense. Um, I noticed, especially when I took Redline at first, I was jacked up. That was just alpha half a shot. I just felt crazy and powerful and over time I kept having it and having it and like one more won't hurt one more won't hurt we've all heard this or thought this um, it got to the point where I would have two shots in the entire bottle and now when I had well a couple weeks ago when I'd have it I would have a whole bottle and I wouldn't even feel it and that's over 300 milligrams of caffeine that's a lot um, because of this I knew I had to start cutting back a uh, quick shout out to some of my coworkers, Jackie, Nicole, uh, everyone else who's helped me get on my butt about getting off of that. I've I've been off of caffeine for the most part for the past two weeks. There's still a little bit in my pre-workout pump, but not nearly as much as Redline. Um, 
I feel better. I'm, I actually feel more natural energy throughout the day. Uh, just working out can give you some good energy and so forth. And eating right, that's, that's a major, you know, you can't just have caffeine and fat burners and then go out to Burger King, um, guilty as charged, <laughs> and, you know, expect to feel good after. No, you're going to feel like crap. I, it was hard for me to sleep sometimes, or I would sleep, but it wouldn't be good sleep. And that's what they say in here as well. Um, caffeine is also a diuretic and it causes a loss of fluid which leads to dehydration, dehydration which I've explained. Um, this is obviously not conductive to fitness activities such as resistance training as fluid is needed for the transfer of nutrients to help mus muscular growth. It is also important when considering the further loss of fluid when exercising in hot environments. You need water definitely and you know to have a lot of caffeine and dehydrate yourself that's not good. Um, the, perhaps the most important long-term effect of caffeine is on sleep. The half-life of caffeine in the body is about six hours. So if you drink a big cup of coffee with 200 milligrams of caffeine at 4 p.m., once you reach 10 p.m., you still have 100 milligrams in your body. By 4 a.m., you still have 50 milligrams floating in your system. Even though you may be able to sleep, you may not be able to ha obtain the restful benefits of deep sleep. What's worse, the cycle continues as you may use more and more caffeine in the hopes of counteracting this def defect. Um, deficit. Um, so pretty much, yeah, the long-term effects, I definitely say, are not good. Especially, you know, if you have anxiety or depression, you know, over time when you have caffeine, you know, once you crash or you don't have it in your system anymore, you're going to feel like crap. You're not going to sleep as well. And I noticed that, especially the past two weeks, I don't have as much. I feel better. I feel more confident. I don't feel, like, tired all the time. And, I mean, even my coworkers notice I have more natural energy when I come to work. And it's not like, you know, I take a red line and crazy energy. And then I, I would say all the time, and it bothered me, I'd say all the time that I was tired and I felt like crap. And I'm just glad that I got off the stuff. So, I mean... Yeah, caffeine is definitely, in the long term, I wouldn't use it. I've actually heard some rumors on top of it, it shrinks your brain, which kind of makes sense because it's dehydrating you. So, I mean, um, the only advice I would say on top of it is if you do have a lot of caffeine, cycle through it, you know, take a few weeks off every so often. Um, make sure when you have it, you do drink a lot of water to uh, nourish your system and so forth. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that that's pretty much covers it. Um, again, check the link out below. Uh, a good tip is just, just with any supplement or any vitamin or anything that you're putting into your body and you're not sure about, look it up. That's what I'm doing. And I'm like, there's got to be some bad effects when it comes to this stuff. So, but yeah, um, I would definitely say, uh, yeah, just be careful. Um, don't have too much and too little of anything when it comes to fitness or just anything in life. Uh, the fit question of the day, fitness question, um, pretty much would be, what are some good ways to help you get natural energy, whether it's, you know, it could be green tea or um, just drinking water, having oatmeal. So question is, what, what do you use? Instead of caffeine, what do you use for energy? So thank you for checking me out. I'm going to be posting more videos soon. Gun Show Fitness, stay fit. Have an awesome day.